Uh, quick hands check from everybody. Even though students are trickling back to in-person learning. And if your camera's off, I'd love to see your beautiful face. The computer screens you, aren't going away. Thank you, Noelle. An eighth grader at Skinner Middle School took that reality and turned it into an award-winning science fair project. I've been remote all year. Um, I've been looking at a computer screen for uh, five to eight hours a day. And I wanted to see um, how different it is between uh, students reading off of, or being on a computer all day compared to uh, reading books. Elsa Vossler's project ended up taking home first place at the Denver Metro Regional Science and Engineering Fair. I wanted to know if there was a stark difference, and there was. The data showed that people blink 30% less when they are reading off of a computer screen compared to a piece of paper. Elsa and three other Skinner Middle School students went on to compete in the state fair. It's like taking home a championship if it were your basketball team. Maybe perhaps even more powerful because it wasn't a team effort. It was this one person that that did everything they needed to do to, to stand out. Mr. Martin is one of the science teachers at Skinner who says he was inspired that Elsa turned the fact that so many of us were staring at computer screens into science. I wanted to um, just do the project for fun uh, and I wasn't expecting first place at all. Now, Elsa says she's more conscious about taking breaks and says we should all do the same if we're glued to a screen most of the day. There's this rule called the 20-20-20 rule where you look uh, 20 feet away from your screen uh, for 20 seconds after you have used your screen for 20 minutes and it kind of refreshes and rejuvenates your eyes. After a year where it's easy to feel unmotivated, Elsa's love for science and natural curiosity remain the same. Yeah, for sure. Um, I'm definitely just wanting to learn more about everything in the world. Victoria De Leon, Nine News.